with setting up the frame now. Uh, I've taken all my frame parts out of my connect kit box and my pro box. Uh, we have two pieces that are a four-way piece and you'll have uh, six pieces that are a three-way, so one, two, and three. And I've placed these so that the long pole sticker is facing up to the ceiling because that's the way we're going to want to use them. Um, so you'll notice on your poles that there are three lengths, so I've laid these out so that I can easily see which length is which. Um, on our bungee cords, there are also a couple of different lengths. You'll have two that are very long. Uh, you will have five that are kind of a medium size. And then we have two that are very short, and these have S-hooks on the ends of them. Um, I went ahead and loosened the nut on my uh, these Delta Quick Links. Uh, so when you see in the instructions when it says Quick Links, this is what it will be referring to. Delta refers to the triangle. Um, all right, so we're going to start with uh, the bottom part of the frame. And for that, uh, I'm going to need my uh, four ways here in the front. And facing you is the front of the chamber. Now I want these so that I have a piece sticking out that is unused. And that will help keep the chamber from rocking forward. And then I'm going to have two pieces here in the back. So that's what that's going to look like. Again, my long pole stickers are facing up. Um, in the instructions, you'll see that your pieces that go this way are the shorter poles, the 38-inch pieces. So I'll go ahead and lay those out. And the poles that go this way are your medium-sized poles. And I will go ahead and lay those out. All right, so you can kind of get an idea of the basic construction here and how much room you're going to need to put it together. So I'm going to put this together flat on the floor and that way it will stay square so you won't have a, a frame that is not in square. Uh, you may have to loosen these a little bit to get your frames to go all the way in, your poles, and you can hear when it's all the way in. And I'll just go ahead and tighten that one. And then I'll go ahead and put in this one. All right, now I want to make sure that both of these pieces are sitting on the floor. Uh, and that will keep everything in square. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and put these pieces in. just slide these in. I'm not going to tighten them yet. And in the instructions you'll see where I have this set up so that you have these four pieces to, or three pieces together and then this has to slide on as one piece. And that's why we don't want to tighten those up just yet. set together. Just make sure all my poles are in tight. Tighten it up. And that's what happens. All right, you need to, you'll have to cut this part out. All right, now we're all squared up. Everything's tight on the bottom. All right, that's the bottom of our frame. Now we're going to take our four long poles, and we're just going to set them in our uprights. That's say long poles.
All right, and I'm just going to slide this out of the way so that we can put together the top of the frame. Win. All right, now we're going to go ahead and put together the top piece. It's a little bit more involved because we're going to want to slide all of our bungees on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get my four corners set up. Long pole stickers sitting straight towards the ceiling. All right, I've got my two shorter pipes on the sides. And the two mediums that are left are going to go on the ends. Here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got all four poles out here. Um, this is the front of my chamber, just like in the picture. So on the front of my chamber, I need to have these two long bungees on either side like that and a medium bungee in the middle. So with these loops I'm just going to go ahead and slide those on in order. Put my medium one on first and then the two long ones will go on the ends. Okay. On either side I need to have two of the medium bungees. So I'm going to go ahead on each side and just slip those bungees on there. Okay. And the two bungees that are left over we'll put on it a little bit later. So now I can go ahead and assemble the frame again just like I did previously. And again, this last piece, remember, we want to put that on all at once so that we don't get um, out of square and so that it slides on easily. Um, I usually like to have somebody or something at the front so that it, it keeps it from sliding. Uh, if you're by yourself, what I do is I just get my toes right there so that I can pull it all together at once. And then we'll go ahead and tighten everything up. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the top of the frame on. Remember, we've left these loose so we can work with them. This is much easier with two people because the top has to go on kind of all at once. Um, so, uh, I'm going to show you how I do it by myself, just in case you're by yourself, but again, it would be easier with two people. Um, this whole thing weighs about 15 pounds, 10 to 15 pounds, and I'm just going to get just the tops of these into the pole. So, I've got two there, told you it wasn't easy, all right, and then I'm just going to get these set inside. Okay. And you can see, because I'm not square, this is not going to go down. So what I need to do is I need to lift up on this just a little bit, and then the whole thing will go down all at once. Mm, that corner's not going down. So now we're all down and secure, we can go ahead and finish tightening up our screws on the top and the bottom.